These are the top 15 Microsoft Teams tips that you need to know now. Number one is how we can customize our notification sounds. So if we go up to the ellipses on the top right and select settings, then we can go to notifications and activity. And the area that we are looking for is sounds. So there are a couple of options here, but the ones that I find particularly helpful are the place sounds with urgent and priority contact notifications. So we'll see on the right here that mine is set to default. So it's currently not differentiated for my general notification sounds. So if we select the drop down here, then we can now select a different tone so that we can differentiate those two types of notifications. The other setting that I find particularly helpful is the play sounds when I'm busy or in a meeting. And if we toggle this off, then our notification sounds will be muted when we are busy or in meetings. Tip number two is how the search area now includes messages. So earlier I was chatting with Mike about our Christmas party for 2024 and I need to locate that message. So we can go into the search bar, search for Christmas 2024, and this will bring up our search area. And a new thing is this messages filter at the top so you can easily filter for those messages. Tip number three is how we can use slash commands for quick action. So once again, we are going to go up to the search bar and we can press forward slash. Now you'll notice on the top right hand side that beside my profile picture is a red icon indicating that I'm busy. But if I wanna change this to available, then I can search for available, press enter, and we will see that update appropriately. As a, another little tip here, you'll notice in the search bar that it says control plus E. So instead of clicking in there, we can go control E, we'll press forward slash again, and then now I wanna change it back to busy and we will see it go red. We have a similar experience in chat messages. So we can press forward slash and then start to type what you would like. In my case, I'm going to add a code block to this message with Mike which leads us to tip number four, which is how we can co-edit code blocks. So we can go up to this ellipses on the top right and go make this collaborative, which will turn this code block into a loop component, harnessing the power of loop. So when I send this message, now now we can update this code block from the message pane and we will see it update in real time as we collaborate with our team members. And a great thing about loop components is that we can then copy that component, paste it into this email, and then now we can watch it update in real time across all of the apps. If you are enjoying this video, then please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Number five is how we can generate a code so that members can join a team. We will hover over the team that you want to create a code for and select the ellipses and then go manage team. And from here, we will go to settings. And then at the bottom, we have team code. So just note here that share this code so people can join the team directly. You won't get join requests. So this will just streamline the process of adding new members. We will generate the code. And then here are some additional options. So you can reset the code, remove it, or copy it. Here we are in Mike's team. And if we go up to this plus icon and go join team, then he has an option to join a team with a code. So if we paste that code, then we can add that team to Mike, eliminating that confirmation of join requests. Number six is how we can add custom emojis. So from a chat area, we can select the emoji picker and then go to the emojis option. And on the bottom right here, we have your org's emojis. So if we select that and go add emoji, then you can add a custom emoji. Mine is just a picture of Rue that I have removed the background and created an emoji for. So here we can see it in a preview for a message as well as a reply and a reaction. I would love to know what your top favorite feature is in Microsoft Teams, so please comment below to let me know. Number seven is how Copilot can help us customize our messages. So this is only available for Copilot users, 
but from the chat area, you can write your draft message and then we can select this little pen icon here, which is Copilot, giving us additional features to rewrite our text, or we can adjust the text for length as well as tone, or even create a custom prompt. If I just simply press rewrite, then Copilot is now going to take my thoughts and convert it into a nice message that sounds so much better than my bullet points. Number eight is channel mentions. So let's start a post in this general channel. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button and comment your top feature so that I can know what your favorite features are and create more content for you. Now in this message area, we will press the at sign, which will be a mention. And then now I want to mention this event planning channel, which we can see on the left here. And if I add that channel mention to this post, we can post it. And now when anybody hovers over this mention, that channel card will appear, providing them with additional information on that specific channel. Number nine is post notifications. So from a channel, you can hover over a post message and select the ellipses. And there are some additional options here. The one that we are looking for is this turn off notifications. So this will mute the notifications for you on this post. And if you decide that you need to turn those back on, we can go back to the ellipses and go turn on notifications. Leading us to number 10, which is channel notifications. On the left, we can hover over a channel. So let's hover over this event planning and select the ellipses and go channel notifications. So here we have some notification settings for these channels. And the first one is going to be for all new posts. So mine is currently off, but if we select the drop down, then we have the option for a banner and feed. So banner is going to be a banner notification on your device. And then only show in feed is going to be for your activity feed within Microsoft Teams. When this notification setting is turned on, then we have an additional option here to include notifications for replies to those new posts. Additionally, at the bottom here, we have channel mentions. So we just mentioned the event planning channel, and this is where you can adjust those notification settings for those mentions. Similarly, if we select the drop down, then we have the same options as for the all new posts. Number 11 is time detection for Copilot chats. Again, this is just for us with Copilot licenses, but from the chat area, I can now ask Copilot to provide information on timeframes. So we'll do what are the highlights from last month and Copilot will now generate a summary for me. You can similarly do yesterday or last week. Number 12 is how we can show or hide the discover feed. So from the Teams area, you might notice this Discover feed at the top. Mine is blank. I hope yours has something. But if you would like to hide this area, then we can go up to the ellipses and settings. And then here we have Show Discover in your channel list. We can simply toggle that off. And then now when we go back to Teams, that has been removed from the Teams area. Number 13 is how organizers and co-organizers can now download a Q&A feed from a town hall or webinar event. So here we are in the calendar. And if we open up a town hall event, then we can go to manage event, which will pop up an additional window here. And from the left, we can go down to reports. And then on the top right, we have download. So here we can select to download the Q&A report from the last 28 days so that you can gain valuable insights from the Q&A session. Number 14 is a redesigned gallery for meetings in Teams. So from the top here, we will go to view and mine is already in gallery view. So the additional settings are down here. So you can select the max gallery size ranging from four people to 49. And this setting here will prioritize videos for people that are either speaking or if they have their hand raised. There are some additional options here, such as hiding yourself from the gallery feed. Number 15 is new avatar reactions. So here I have my avatar turned on. 
And to go to these reactions, we will select the drop down carrot from the camera and go more avatar settings. When we scroll down, we will see these avatar reactions. And these are my five pinned reactions that I can use to react in a Teams meeting when I'm using my avatar. You can select show all, and you'll notice here that this one has been pinned. But if, for example, you wanted to have a pinned club dance reaction, then you can pin that one to the top so that it is ready for you to go. If you want to learn some more tips on using Microsoft Office products to boost your productivity, then you can check out this other video linked here and mic drop.